Hey guys, what is up? There's still a little echo. We're getting the floors replaced next week. They're supposed to be here this week and now it's next week. So there's still a little echo. We're getting some furniture made in this room. We're finally getting this room put together. First our daughter's room, now our bedroom because like she'll be in here a lot too. So um, room by room, the house is <laughs> slowly coming together. And yeah, it's, it's been it's been nice, but it's been it's been a process because I feel like there's this thing right now going on, like I'm I'm so not in I don't follow politics, but like um, like inflation, it's just like hard to get materials like carpeting and fabrics and stuff like that. So everything's been just kind of like slow again. But today's video, I just felt like. I don't know. I just feel like I needed to get this off my chest and like people be safe out there. Cause one, everybody is getting like COVID now. Like everybody, like people who went like two years not getting it, me included. I got it on my birthday of this year, May of this year. Everyone's getting it now. And like, yes, people are like getting over it. Like it, it is kind of like a flu. Mine was really severe. Like I was so scared, obviously being pregnant during a pandemic because we are still in a pandemic is like so, so, so scary because you just don't know really how it affects your baby. And that's like the most important thing, right? Is like, how does this affect my baby? And with COVID, there's people who have gone into uh, like early labor and delivery at like six months and stuff. So I was like so nervous. A couple weeks ago, I had another COVID scare. I mean, I had a couple. So... <sighs> I made the decision and like, thank God they were negative, but because, you know, my doctor did tell me like, I do have pretty strong, um, like antibodies, like my immune system's a little stronger. But having like already gone through COVID, um, I still get a little heartburn. The next day I hadn't been working, but I still get a little heartburn, not gonna lie. Um, so, you know, he was pretty positive and he always errs on the side of caution. He's very much like, you know, get your flu shot, get your, you know, COVID shot and stuff like that. But he was pretty positive that I would be okay, at least from COVID, but then there's different strands. So, um, and overall just being careful and like wearing a mask and stuff like that. And, um, you know, our county is close to LA County and there's just like a no mask mandate right now. So it's very easy for me to be like, oh, we're just popping into a grocery store. Like I won't wear a mask not anymore and not everything in fact i'm quitting everything i'm like not leaving my house unless it's absolutely necessary so if i have to get groceries if like my husband is you know can't do it or something for the day like unless it's absolutely necessary i go to my mom and my sisters because they're um they're contained obviously like if they travel i don't see them for two weeks um but pretty much everything contained um, because it's just so scary and there's just different strands that catch and stuff like that. And it's, it's still really real. And like, I know I sound like such a fuddy and such like an old person and like, yeah, but we want to live our lives. And I get that more than anybody, <laughs> but it's literally so scary. And also like, I just feel like people, yeah, you get it and it's not a big deal, but what if you pass it on to someone who, you know, has pre-existing condition or, you know, just me being pregnant. I'm just like, or a pregnant person because now with, um, California's in a state of emergency with monkeypox. Now with monkeypox, like they don't know how that affects uh, pregnant, pregnant people or their baby. I'm in the home stretch. I have five to seven weeks left of my pregnancy. Kind of depends on a lot of things. It come, my due date is, is, is one date, but it could come two weeks early. She could come two weeks later. I could be induced early. Like there's just so many unknowns, but it's coming within weeks. <laughs> and um, it's just not worth it. Like if I were to get sick right now, cause I, I did, I had gotten sick a couple weekends. One, I was literally just at my dad's house. Like literally we went out to dinner and like, that was it. Took a picture of maybe like four or five people. And like, and they all seem fine. They don't seem like, you know, they're all young. They don't have symptoms or whatever. But it's like just being out or, you know, who knows how I got it. but. I wasn't sick before and then it happened again when I went out and saw people and again it could obviously I didn't get COVID but it could be even like a flu is so 
is so scary to me right now to get like you know my immune system is so low and I feel like most pregnant people have a very low immune system and it's just one of those like really awkward things now I just don't want to like leave my house because I don't want to be that person like let me put on a mask I mean you should honestly like but I'm just like you know what? I'm just gonna stay inside because but yeah if I go to the grocery store now I'm definitely wearing a mask I'm definitely that person and I, I kind of do masks help I don't know, isn't that the like debate? Like, ugh, do they really work? You know, it's kind of like even the vaccines. Like I'm again, I'm not political, I'm not pro, anti, whatever. Like if I, I kind of just go with the flow of people are getting a vaccine, I'll get the vaccine. You know what I mean? Like I just kind of go with the flow. I believe everybody. Like if you have a conspiracy about something, if you think something doesn't work, does work, whatever. I like, I could see all aspects to it. I'm like, yes, this, this sounds like a government setup for the election or this, no, this is just like a natural pandemic that happens once every like thousand years or something you know what i mean so whatever your stance is i'm with you i believe you but um like for me i kind of almost wish people would do masks or if it is like with california being a state of emergency i think new york and illinois also are a state of emergency for monkeypox if there if there is this state of emergency like i kind of wish there was like a lockdown again to kind of like contain everything not just monkeypox covid too because how how is it gonna go away or just something that's always there which is like flu i don't follow statistics like are the deaths up that i think my i think my dad might and he kind of says they're kind of like the same numbers as they were at the beginning in 2020 i don't know i have like no idea um but i just like how does this end how does this stop of course I'm like, oh, we should do another lockdown because you know, I'm about to give birth and I'm gonna be locked down anyways in my house. But it is such a, it's such an awkward thing to be that person to be like, I can't see anybody because I'm terrified of getting sick for my baby. And then once the baby's here for three months, just anyways, before the pandemic, like an infant isn't vaccinated, an infant doesn't have a strong enough immune system to see people. So, Obviously, we're going to keep her isolated and stuff like that, but it's just, it's just so scary. And um, the way things are transmitted too, you know, it's not just, you know, I saw monkeypox and people being like, it's like an STD or whatever, but that's not true. Like I saw the thing that scared me and is the reason I don't have my nails done and I won't and waxing too, is like a girl was just at the nail salon and got it. Like she was getting her feet and toes and that's how it's like transmitted too droplets in the air hugging breathing touching like and it just sucks because like I like yeah I want to get on with my life too but it's like so so scary and I've just been getting so sick when I leave the house so I'm like okay, I'm just gonna stay in a bubble luckily it only lasts like a couple days I'm able to take Tylenol under my doctor's supervision but um yeah I think when Anybody who's been pregnant knows like those last, that last stretch, you just really want to um, be careful. Like even when I smell smoke, if there's like secondhand smoke outside and someone's smoking outside, like I'm so that person now that's like, like I don't tell people to put out their cigarettes, but I'm like, I have to walk away from this because you're about to like light up and I'm pregnant. Like it's, and I, I get people like not caring. Like when you're not pregnant, like, or you've never been pregnant like of course you don't think about stuff like that but I'm like heck no because someone was smoking and like literally for just minutes and I that night I was hacking and coughing and I was just like what the heck was happening it was so scary I was so nervous and then of course I started like googling all the symptoms and like you know what happens if you like inhale secondhand smoke for like minutes and it was like terrifying so I mean, I left like instantly, but I still had that in and that's like, you know. So what kind of mom and parent will I be? An overly cautious parent. I just, like holidays and stuff like that. Like we'll have our holidays, but everything else, I just, people just are going out willy nilly as if like literally nothing is going on. And like I said, I get it. I'm not like, I'm really not judging because like as a single person too, I was just like, I'm over this. I'm just gonna like live my life. If I get it, I get it. But it just affects so many other people. And it's just like, and it's not anyone's fault other than like, we need to get like actual vaccines that work. Cause it just seems that I was vaccinated. I got it. Like people vaccinated with a booster get it. 
It's just like, we need something that works or we need another lockdown, but did lockdown actually work? Maybe, I don't know. Again, I'm so dumb. I don't know these statistics, but it's been just, it's been a journey. So, um, yeah, I canceled, I canceled so many things, pedicures, going out to eat, getting glam done. Um, I had this beautiful song written. I wanted to record and do pregnant the music videos are clearly off the table because the other thing is is like yeah you can ask people to get tested and i think tests are pretty accurate but out here too especially with like monkeypox like it's so hard to get tests or even the vaccine but aside from that is if a lot of people aren't symptomatic like why are they going to get tested you know like and will it show up i took a covid test around my birthday time and it showed up negative at home but i was positive at the, at the hospital so it's kind of one of those things where it's like a lot of people are asymptomatic so they're just passing it and um yeah it's just yeah it's just really scary and i get i guess you get from like utensils like there's just all this information out there you know i went into a deep dive on it on on everything on the new covid strands on the current covid situation going on on the monkeypox situation um and it's just really it's really out there it's really really just there's so many ways to get it it's so in depth and so all that stuff so um be safe out there. Um, I, I feel like the contact now is just not like really good, like hugging and stuff like that. Um, I don't know, what is the answer? All that to say is like, don't expect much from me than in, as far as content. Most of my content has been at my house, obviously the past few months, but that's the way it's gonna continue. So yeah kind of where I'm at you guys um but yeah she's like I said like five to seven weeks she will be here um <laughs> I'm I am getting so I was just talking to my sister I talked to everyone my my sister my mom and yeah, my husband uh just like I just don't know what to expect and I if you've been a first time mom um specifically during the pandemic but just first time mom in general I guess but like one, how did you deal? Especially like during 2020, I know people who are pregnant in 2020, I'm like, how did you even like function? Like, do you just, am I, am I being like overly cautious or am I being not cautious enough? Like should I really just like isolate everything? Um, that's what I'm doing now. And that's what I plan to do in the three months after she's born. But at the same time, you also want people to see her and your friends and your family. and. Um, I have family from out of town, so it's like, oh, you know, I just want them to see her. But at the same time, like traveling by plane, traveling by this, it's all just, when's it safe? When's it, you know? Cause yeah, like my family coming in could get tested for COVID or monkeypox, maybe if there's tests for that. But like, are those a hundred percent, you know? And then like, when do you know? And you don't want to keep your baby in a bubble either. You don't want to keep your baby inside for a year straight. I guess people do, I don't know. Let me know if you were a mom during pandemic because especially to like infants and stuff because they're just so young and we are on the side of caution. Obviously I was like, I want to keep her like in this bubble, but also like as she gets older, like a year and so, you know, for social skills, I guess a lot happens in a year, a lot happens in a couple months, but right now everything has been a lot and I've been a little like freaked out by it, but but what I was originally gonna say is any mom's first time labor and delivery, how did you feel? How did you get through it? I've seen so many, I've seen so many birth vlogs, TikToks, I love them. And for everyone asking, like I like 99% sure that I'll post a vlog about it because I I love watching them. I think they're so educational. It helps you like see someone actually going through the process. Um and it actually comforts me because so many people are just like so strong and they're able to like get through it and like watching someone get through it and then be so happy after because right you go through something really painful really traumatic and you think oh my god you're just drained you're just crying you're just like beside yourself but like everyone looks just so full of joy and and aside from that too people do look very strong i'm hoping i'm one of those people where they just push through and have the baby and it's a beautiful thing and I hope that's my experience and that's what I'm you know in my head with but and then yeah other than that just 
a lot of meditation, a lot of, um, because even being now in a house, just meditating, you know, getting through. Um, I ordered a manicure campaign. Nails are so bad. Um, a waxing, my sister has wax, so I'm doing that on my own. My toes are, like my nails are atrocious. Like I literally had an appointment scheduled on Tuesday of this week to go get patties and manis with my sister, which we like love to do. And I saw this TikTok with like literally like 6 million views of the girl being like, last time getting this done cause monkey pox or whatever. And she like had them and they just look painful. I don't know. Uh, this is a very like controversial topic as far as vaccines, you know, monkeypox, COVID, conspiracies. Is it real? Is it something that they put out during the election time to get people scared? Is it just a natural pandemic that's happening and people aren't taking it serious? People are taking it too seriously. Like, um, I would, I would love to know everyone's thoughts because I, I do find all points so interesting. Like I, like I said, I'm, I'm not, I'm the first to admit I'm not intelligent with this kind of stuff, like to form an opinion. And even if I do, even if I lean more towards that, like I started going more towards like, oh yeah, it seems like a conspiracy, you know, election time. Okay. Like get the fear in everybody. But then, you know, it's also like. So when I speak that to someone who doesn't believe that, that it's like, no, this is like a real thing. This is like a real issue. I'm like, oh, I, I see that too. <laughs> you know? So I don't know, but just trying to keep my peace y'all trying to keep my center and my center, which it's crazy when you do DBT for borderline, um, it's my mental illness, you know, it's all about wise mind and like finding the center. And this is my center right here. So when you like breathe in, breathe out, like that's where you get the answers. That's where you get the feeling and everything centered around the belly button, which is like so crazy because that's where I feel the movement of my daughter. And it's really cool now to meditate. I'm going to get really emotional. Sorry, guys. I'm actually like, it's crazy. I haven't had a lot of pregnancy symptoms, including being emotional. Because when I talk about her. Um, ah, wow. Okay. Sorry. Um, like when I meditate now, it's like I just feel her and I feel like the purpose and the power and the the center that I needed my entire life okay sorry and it's so powerful because I started meditating last year and I just remember everyone like making fun of me and stuff because I would you know I just it, it was helping me it was helping me just calm just breathing I didn't really get much from it. I wasn't getting answers. I wasn't getting, you know, clarity right away. And I just kept doing it because I was like, you know what, at least I'm like breathing. It's, you know, starting my morning off better than like looking at my phone or something. So I believed in it, believed in it. And now when I meditate and I like feel her, it's like nothing else matters. I just her, she's all that matters. And, um, And it's so, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. And like, it is getting these answers and that I didn't even know. I wasn't even questioning last year, you know, but it's like life purpose, life mission, everything to live for. And it was all in the center, like wise mind teaches and she's there. And I'm, I'm actually really sad to be over. I don't want to touch my face cause I've had, um, I have like soft tanner on my hands. Um, I'm gonna let the tears flow. <laughs> um, uh, one thing I do have is pregnancy brain. I do lose my train of thought a lot. <laughs> I went to go pee in a cup at my um, doctor's appointment, and you know they have the cups in there and everything. Like, okay, go you know do your pee. And I had to pee so bad because I knew I had to pee in the cup when I got there, and uh, I walked out and they're like, okay, did you leave it in there? And I was like, I forgot to pee in the cup. I just peed in the toilet and left. Like it's fine, it happens, but um yeah, it's just really cool to have. Oh, I was gonna say I'm like really sad for pregnancy to be over. I love feeling her. I feel like it's just a connection only her and I have. I mean, I always take my husband's hands to feel it because it's cool and he like loves that too, but it's just such a special, special, special bond and like just having her in there in the center that I learned, I breathe from the center, 
focus on the center and like that's where she is like it's powerful and it's not even like you don't have to be all hippy dippy spiritual to like get into it but it's it's powerful breathing's powerful like i said the wise mind breathing technique is 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 there is, is science you know if you're not into faith or spirituality like that's something they teach in therapy classes like doctors of the mind and stuff say it which is really just meditation so um it can be beautiful like i said even if you can just sit alone with your thoughts for a few minutes or without your thoughts even if you can just have a blank mind sometimes the answers don't come right away but they sometimes they come in this like beautiful way and this is the most beautiful way mine has like the answers came and it's it's really cool and i'm so glad that i like read so many things about breathing techniques and exercises and spirituality and meditation all that because it literally changed my life and um i just keep going on that path every morning i breathe if i do feel ever a little anxious which isn't that often thank god i breathe i just breathe and it's helped so much so um and i truly believe it's helped me with this pregnancy i've had i would say probably the easiest pregnancy and I've been really lucky and I, like I said, I've had some sick moments, but she stayed strong through so many things and I'm just excited to bring her into this world. So it's a very long winded video. Sorry about that, but I wanted to come check in here with you guys. Um, yeah, I do ASMR if you guys wonder where I'm at. Like, I post cooking videos on here, which I love, but I do have an ASMR channel to show you guys ASMR. And it's, it's been doing so well and well received, and I love doing it. It's been such a calming thing for me all my pregnancy, and it gets so much love and feedback over there. So if you guys are into ASMR or any of that stuff, go check it out. If you're not, obviously don't go check it out. But um, yeah, I love you guys so much. And like I said, this channel's kind of like, a, I don't know what's happening on this channel, but I love this channel. I always have said that. I'll always post on this channel. It's like my baby. Like I've had this channel since I was 18 years old. I'm now 34 married with a baby so I'm just like this is if anything it's been like a scrapbook of my life so I love it and I'll, um, I'll always post here that's why I like doing these check-in videos because it's just another part of my journey so all right guys I love you uh be safe out there um I just you know wanted to put this out there for my own like sanity and just to hear feedback because I'm like am I being overly cautious and being not cautious enough you know like all that stuff like that I would love to hear your thoughts on all of it like is is what's happening what's going on um but yeah it seems like COVID all this stuff like you know is just affecting everybody whether you're vaccinated or not if you wear a mask or not but for me I am definitely staying in and it's been really hard because there's so many great shows Dear Evan Hansen was just here in LA and it was at the Amundsen Theater which I believe that's where I got COVID. I don't know for sure. But after that night, like two days later, I got COVID, which is weird because they make you wear masks there. So again, maybe just meeting people, hugging people. I'm like, I'm the last person to like not say yes to a hug or a photo. So for me, I'm like, you know what? Let me just stay in. <laughs> um, and some people have been so respectful. They're like, I know you're pregnant. Like, can I just take one from far away? Like a picture. So some people, and, and some people don't know either. And that, again, I understand that too, especially when you're young. So but some people take it from like a distance and that's really cool too. Um, cause, uh, you know, I, I am, you know, sometimes I do need to leave the house. I can't just stay in the house. So, you know, if I go out to Target to get toilet paper or like a Jamba juice or something, um, I mean, I'm out of the house obviously. So, cause I'm sure somewhere someone's like, you're out of the house or something. And I'm like, yeah, I get that. Like I do get out. And even with like my maternity shoot I had scheduled, I had like glam and this whole thing. I think I'm gonna just do my own hair and makeup and still have like a photographer come, but like do it from a distance. Um, because just, just everything, like blowouts, nails, anything that's like close and in the proximity. Um, so I think we're gonna still do that. So if there's, I, I don't know for sure either. Like I'm like, I'm gauging everything day by day to see where it's at. But I, like I said, I do have to leave my house. I'm not a, I'm not a hermit, so. Um, if I get like a juice or if I'm out getting groceries, like I'll be wearing a mask and, um, yes, I mean, there's just, that's that part of it. Even at the height of the pandemic, like I would go out and get groceries. Like sometimes you just need to get food, but yeah, 
There's the belly. I put self tanner on his belly today. It's not, it's not self tanner. It's like Jergens Natural Glow Lotion. It's not really like self tanner. It doesn't have any like smell to it or anything. Um, but I put it on the belly and the belly just does not take it. Go over here. But yeah, I don't know. I haven't done my nails since I was um, like eight years old. I have not done my nails in so long. So they grow fast because I bit them down. Like I literally bit them down like to the nub. It's so gross right now. Like Sunday, no, Monday. Filming this is Thursday. And they like already have little tips on them. Prenatals for the win. Um, all right, guys. Be safe out there. And um, yeah, I have to go blow my nose and wipe my face because the tears just came down it. But uh, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. And uh, thanks for all the well wishes. Yeah, please leave all feedback, comments, what you think, all of it in the comments below because I. I have been reading a lot about this stuff and I'm curious to know what you guys think about it all. Um, all right. I'll see you guys. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. I have like, a lot of cooking videos. I've been cooking up a storm. That's basically all I've been doing is cooking an ASMR and it's been passing the time way too quickly <laughs> and, um, and resting. I've been resting. I've been sleeping a lot. So I'm just going to enjoy these last few weeks of pregnancy. Oh, I'm so sad. And, um, yeah, keep you guys updated on the way. She be growing. She's growing fast. Almost half a pound a week. Yeah. What's she like five and a half pounds now? Five pounds? She's, she's big <laughs> and healthy. And that's, that's what's most important.